you guys, it is your girl Sharon Strong and today I'm coming to you with a short video on whey protein versus casein. Alright, so we are going to discuss the differences between the two, if any, and what you really need according to your goals. As I mentioned in my previous videos, whey is just a byproduct of milk. Now casein as well is just a curd that is formed from milk, okay? Now when consuming any kind of protein source, we always keep one primary factor in mind how good of a amino acid profile does it hold and does it have the 11 amino acids that our body cannot produce now in terms of whey and casein they both have pretty similar profiles okay however uh, the whey profile does hold a better amino acid composition especially for isoleucine which is uh, one of the main BCAAs. Now let's talk about the rate of absorption of whey versus casein. You might have heard that whey is a much faster digesting protein in terms of uh, when compared to casein protein. Now just to expand on this, whey when consumed by itself it takes about 20 to 30 minutes to get fully absorbed okay and about 20 to 40 minutes for its amino acid to reach that peak to reach that high point okay but uh, in terms of casein it takes about four hours to be fully absorbed now this is because when uh, consumed casein correlates into your body into this uh, thick gel like structure very much like fiber okay and hence it's very uh, it's, it takes time to digest that so now with all of this information and clearly knowing that casein is a much slower digesting protein than whey, we can understand why so many people and so many trainers recommend uh, consuming casein, uh, casein sorry, uh, before bedtime okay, uh, so that you don't go into catabolism and you don't have that muscle breakdown if you consume casein right before you sleep. But here's the catch, okay, there's absolutely no evidence at all that you will go into a catabolic state merely eight hours after fasting okay in fact if you have a go really good dinner with protein and carbs and everything your rate of absorption has already slowed down okay and chances are you're already getting a steady supply of amino acids while you sleep so now do you need that casein bedtime shake no not required okay is casein better than whey protein or vice versa not really why because protein synthesis after your workout lasts at least 24 to 48 hours so this whole slow versus fast digesting protein doesn't really matter when it comes to the facts okay end of the day if you can afford a whey and a casein or heck even if you can't afford either and you just have to rely on solid food you will be just fine okay if you have anyone ask you dude where's your casein uh, shake before bedtime now you have the info to pack it up okay just focus on the overall protein consumption on your macros for the day okay so i hope this info helped you i hope this video helped you hope you guys liked it don't forget to like and share and until i see you again stay strong